Hello friends, my name is George, the nice smelling gentleman. And today we're gonna to take a look at another of the very hyped up fragrances, very hyped up lately fragrances in the fragrance community. The Dito Noir from Al Haramein. Alrighty, so uh, let's first look at the presentation. As you can see, the, the box is uh, silver colored. Uh, you have Al Haramein Detour on the front and the back. Uh, simple looking box, but I think it looks somewhat classy because of the that silver color, I like it. Uh, let's put that to the side. And then let's take a look at the ugliest bottle in the fragrance uh, world. <laughs> uh, I don't know what they were trying to accomplish with this look. I don't know what they were going for, but you know, when you look at the front, it doesn't look that bad. But when you look at it on the side, it has this weird shape. Uh, I don't know, like really ugly. Uh, the cap is also ugly. Um, it's hard to put it back into place. Uh, when it gets into place, you can hold the bottle through the cap, uh, but sometimes you may like not put it correctly and drop the bottle. Um, also, they uh, they used a pretty low quality uh, for the paint where the Detour Noir is written because I, ha I I've had this bottle for like a month or so. I've used it like five or six times and already the paint has started to peel off. So uh, yeah, all in all, uh, probably one of the ugliest bottles out there. Now, when you look at the bottle, you may think that uh, because of the ugly bottle, the fragrance inside is gonna be. Uh, complete trash but you know looks can be deceiving as it is the case with this fragrance let's spray it once so you can see the sprayer as well as you can see the sprayer is actually pretty good puts a good amount of juice so let's close it Okay, so uh, my first recommendation is uh, after you spray it, give yourself and your nose like five or 10 seconds before you sniff it. Uh, give time to the, for the alcohol to evaporate. And, they, and then just enjoy heaven. Now, on the initial blast, what you get is uh, you're welcomed by this nice smell of apple, like an apple pie. Oh, it's absolutely great. What this fragrance is, is a warm apple pie with lots of vanilla, lots of amber, um, very warm, very welcoming. Uh, to me, this looks like th this would be the, uh, the smell that I can describe uh, the upcoming holidays. Like, you know, it's cold outside, you come uh, at your home, inside your home. Uh, you smell like all the different spices and all the different things that have been cooked for the holiday dinners and stuff like that. So that's what uh, that's what this fragrance reminds me. It's sweet, it's appley, it's uh, warming, it's uh, welcoming, it's vanilla ambery. Um, it's very very good. If I have to w use one word to describe this fragrance. Uh, it has to be the word delicious because that's how this smells. As far as this being a clone of Leighton, uh, I don't own a full presentation bottle of Leighton, but I used to have a small decant of Leighton, so I'm pretty familiar with how the Leighton smells. In the opening, this is not as close as some people may say. In my opinion, it's like 80% close to, uh, to Leighton. You certainly catch that vibe, that DNA. But once the, uh, the Al Haramein Detour Noir starts to settle down on your skin, then it gets to about probably 95% close to Leighton. People with more experience like trained noses will pick up the difference between Leighton and this. But for people who are not very familiar with Leighton, especially on your scent bubble around you, they will probably not be able to tell the difference between Leighton and this. When we talk about performance, this has been like easily getting eight hours on my skin, no problem at all. Uh, if you use a bit more sprays, it will definitely last longer than eight hours. On clothes, it lasts for over a day, no problem at all. As far as the projection goes, it's uh, pretty strong for the first two hours. After that, it starts to settle down, but projection is solid as well. As far as the price goes, I was able to get this for $30, just under $30. Uh, 
but because I, at least in my opinion, because this the, this has been very hyped up recently uh, in the fragrance world, uh, prices have started to go to go up. When I did my research, uh, I found out that this was you could have gotten this like six months ago for fifteen dollars, twenty dollars tops. Now it's thirty dollars if you can find it because it's getting kind of hard to find as well as uh, getting a, a little bit pricey. If I have to rate this fragrance, uh, my rating for this will be nine, uh, straight up nine. No, no two ways about it. It's great. It smells delicious. Even if you don't compare it to Leighton, which I'm not doing, I'm, I'm trying to review this as a uh, standalone uh, fragrance, you know, on its own. It smells delicious. It's sweet. It's good performing. Uh, you know, uh, good staying power, good projection, okay price, $30. Uh, I mean, again, you, you cannot go wrong with this. Uh, if you're looking for something for the, the up, upcoming, uh, like colder months, uh, you know, fall and winter, this is a pretty, pretty good choice. And so guys, this was my look, uh, my thoughts on the hyped up uh, Detour Noir from Alharmain. Uh, I hope that you liked the video. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. Stay safe and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.